Um, hi, everybody. I'm kind of going to hang out here for a few minutes, let people um, make it here and get on. Uh, my name is Madeline. Um, a lot of you have probably talked to me over email, live chat, if you've been on our website. Um, I have been with Artists Can Care for a long, long, long time. Um, I am Gina's oldest daughter, and I'm our director of operations. Uh, Gina is um, headed out of town to do a whitewater rafting four-day trip. Um, so she is super stoked, she's having a great time. Um, and so I'm taking over today and I thought it would be a great opportunity to give you guys a sneak peek at the website that we have been working so hard on for over a year now. <laughs> it's been an over year long project getting this, um, this new website hooked up and ready to go with all of the features that we really want you guys to have when you, when you shop with us. Um, so keep in mind this is a sneak peek. The plan for this website is to be launching next week. Um, so there are still a couple of little bugs or funny things that we're, we're working out. Um, there's, you know, some just minor stuff. So bear with us there. I'll, I'll point it out if I come across something. But um, for the most part, this is how it's going to be. And I want to demo a couple of the really neat features that we're going to have available to you guys today. And so we will do a little shopping trip and we will go shopping for um, kind of my basic morning routine. All right, so let's get the site pulled up here. All right, so this is our new homepage. It's gonna look really familiar. Um, I'm gonna apologize ahead of time. Um, I am using a colleague's Mac and my PC scrolls opposite. So I'm gonna go up when I mean to go down a few times here. Uh, but the homepage should, should look pretty similar. You should feel right at home, um, but there are some things that are changing quite a bit, so we're gonna walk through that. All right, so uh, first off, um, I'm going to look for my morning cleanser. So I really recommend on this new site to, um, oh, let's see, here we go, to shop by type of product that you want first. Um, I think that that makes the shopping experience just the absolute best. You can go to shop all and just see everything in a giant lump. Um, I find it's just smoother to go right into the category for each item you like. Um, that's my recommendation. So once we're here, we still have our acne safe badges that, that everyone is used to, but we have some amazing new um, filtration features. So I'm gonna walk you through like I am shopping for myself. I'm gonna pop in here and I'm gonna collect my skin type. I have normal skin. Then I'm going to go to cleanser type. And for me, it's really important that it be makeup removing. So I'm gonna throw that in there. And then from here, we have acne safe badges. Um, so you can shop the way you do now at Art of, the old Art of Skin Care. But, oops, not this one. If I just don't even wanna mess with that, I can just go here with preferences and click acne safe and boom. I'm gonna have exactly what cleansers qualify for those um, filtration uh, decisions I made. So I, this is my current favorite right here, this Bought Me a Renewing Face Wash. I absolutely adore it. It is um, brand new for us. And it's really cool, it does come in a refill, um, but we're gonna go ahead and just buy the regular one. We're gonna purchase it one time only, and we're gonna add it to our cart. And we're just gonna keep on shopping now. All right, and then let's go next. Let's pick out some serums. Right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Go to skin type. I'm gonna go to normal. You could select a brand, something like that, if you want to narrow it down. Um, let's see, we're gonna go to acne safe. And let's do low scent. Throw low scent in there. And then I'm not going to, I know right now that I don't want a heavy corrective. So I'm gonna show you some cool ingredient filtration. Um, this is telling me that none of these products have enzymes in ferulic, just, or Kojic, just so you know what that means there. But I'm gonna say I do not want mandelic, and I do not want glycolic, and um, I do not want salicylic. 
So I, I'm just choosing something that's going to have a little bit less, um, less actives there. And let's pick out a concern. I'm going to choose, uh, let's see, let's choose pigmentation, some light wrinkles, and some dullness. And let's see what I've got that will treat these things. All right, so I found some of my favorites already. So this uh, Neogenesis Skin Serum, I absolutely adore it. It's my cannot live without product. So I'm gonna pop in here, I'm gonna buy it in a larger size, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one on auto ship. And I probably don't need it every two weeks. I probably will use one every eight weeks, so let's go ahead and throw it on an every seven week rotation. If I decide I don't like this interval, I can come back in later and edit um, that amount of time at any point. I can skip shipments. I'm gonna continue shopping. Right, and oh, it looks like I'm gonna have to look at my guys again. Normal, acting safe, consent, concern, some pigmentation, some dullness, some light wrinkles, and I didn't even bother with the the ingredients this time. You could see I could click and have more results. Um, so you can really narrow this down or make it you know as big or as small as you want. And if you ever just decide you get lost and you can't, you want to start over, you can just come up here and hit reset and it will reset for you. Uh, so just to know that's there. Um, this is what I'm also going to choose here, the Super Serum Advance Plus. I absolutely adore, adore this vitamin C. It is my very favorite. I'm going to get it in a large size too. Since I can't live without it, I'm going to put it on auto ship. And I'm going to also put this on every seven weeks. And I'm going to add it to my cart. Okay, shopping. Let's find a moisturizer. Normal skin. I want acne safe. And my concerns are still pigmentation. Oh, look, I hit pigmentation and all of my concerns were already included with these uh, options I got. Oh, and there's my favorite right there. Blueberry Milk Moisturizer. I use this AM and PM. And we'll just put that as a one-time only purchase. The last thing I need for my morning routine is sunscreen. I go into sun care. Now, I cannot use chemical sunscreens. Um, they tend, when the reaction starts to happen with the sun, it burns me. <laughs> so it is really important to me that um, I only have mineral sunscreens. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that right off the bat. And then let's just say I want some tinted. Let's check that out too. And I'm gonna go to preferences, let's throw an acne safe. And here's the tinted mineral options that are acne safe that we have. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose these tinted dew drops. I have these on today underneath my Lily Lolo powder foundation. And I really like it. Tint one. Purchase one time only, add to cart. And let's check out what I got here. This is a full morning routine. Um, so in here you can make edits in your cart. Um, purchase once means you're only buying it one time. It will only ship to you one time, it'll only charge you one time. If you select an auto ship, then depending on what interval you choose here, um, you will just automatically be rebilled and reshipped that item every um, seven weeks in this case. And um, a key thing to note, we are going to have, um, our auto ship is going to get you free shipping at a lower threshold. Uh, right now our free shipping is at um, orders 99 plus, and if you have your orders on auto ship, it's gonna be 59 plus. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that um, if I go ahead and make this every eight weeks, I am going to get free shipping on this first order because this is auto ships over $50, but these are gonna ship. Actually, these are expensive items. They would be shipping free anyway, but let's pretend these were $15 items. If this is a 15 and $13 item, then if I split them into two different week categories, then the recurring billing, since they're shipping separately, um, would be billed to me, since it's underneath the free shipping 
Um, so just something to keep in mind, you probably want to pick, you know, uh, if you have items that are under $99, you want to just keep that in mind. If you're getting two on the same auto ship, put them on the same week and you'll take advantage of the free shipping. All right, so the other thing I wanted to take a minute to show you guys is how to um, look at your auto ships that already exist. So, and you can also make edits to those. So I'm gonna go into my auto ships. I'm already logged in. And I've got this guy right here. Looks like it is, um, hasn't been shipped yet. The next shipment is due May 17th. I can go in here to manage this auto ship. And um, right here, I can go and I can edit my address, the billing, I can add a payment. I don't currently have one in there. I could cancel it and I can edit this order. And so right now, this is not gonna hit the free shipping mark um, for this order. So let's say I decide, you know, I really wanna add something more to this so that I can get free shipping. I can add and I'm gonna have to search my product here. So let's, <coughs> excuse me. Let's choose, um, what's another favorite product? Uh, oh no, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have a bug with you guys on here. <laughs> that we do have some bugs that we are currently working out. Um, and this was working on staging, but I'm showing you guys production. So uh, it's, a little um a little quirky still oh no okay well i'm sorry you guys we still have a few bugs as i said um you got to experience one with me and when we go live if you find bugs like this let us know um, we are combing them trying to take care of every single bug we can find if you get lucky and you find one let us know we will make sure you know if you're losing functionality or something our customer service will make sure that they get you taken care of and um, that we get the bug fixed uh, but normally you would search and you'd get a nice little drop down here with your items where you could select the item that you want and add it to your auto ship right there. Um, and yes, so that is kind of our auto ship. You got to see product filtration. Um, the brands are still here like everyone is used to. Um, our blog is still here like everyone is used to about pages. Um, those are the things that I'm the most excited about, the auto ship and um, all of those really cool uh, filtration. So we can play with it for a few more minutes here and then I'll open it up for some questions in case there are any. Um, but let's say I'm looking at acne treatments and I want to specifically go by acne type. Um, typically, I tend to get maturation or rest, um, usually only around um, my cycle but let's see what is good for that. It's automatically going to filter down to things that tend to be better for that type of acne. Um, from here, you could filter by ingredients. Um, you could add, everything in here is going to be acne safe, but you could add uh, pregnancy safe. Um, and you could see it's all gonna take out anything with um, vitamin A or with salicylic acid and give you, you know, a pregnancy safe selection. Um, you can also take that back off. And let's see, I want um, something that's vegan. Same thing, it's gonna pull off anything that um, we haven't, we've gone by um, what the brands have verified for us um, on vegan. So we, um, they usually reach out to their lab and they go through their ingredient deck and make sure that everything is, is vegan sourced and then um, let us know. And then that's how we've decided what is vegan or not on our website. Uh, there may be things that are vegan on here that the company either didn't offer that kind of um, validation for us or they weren't sure. Um, so there might be things that are vegan that aren't marked. Um, but this, we went with anything that, that the brand verified for us for sure. And you could even go by consistency. Um, looks like in these serums, our options are light gel or water weight. So you can see what we have under water weight. If you um, are one of those people who do not like water weight, you can um, filter without. Let's, that also comes in handy for moisturizers um, because here you have gels, we have some gel creams, heavy creams, light creams, medium creams, occlusive. Those are the ones that just have that really protective barrier over the top. You can just shop oils. 
Um, and all of those are just going to filter bloop, right down to that particular type of consistency. Uh, so that's a really, really fun feature. We had a good time putting that together. Um, this has been kind of um, a, a baby of ours. We have been working really hard on this filtration to, to get it right and to make this experience just really shoppable and, and usable for you guys. So I, I hope that you like it as much as I do. All right, so I think that's um, all I need to share at the moment. Um, does anyone have any questions? Or you can ask me any kind. Do you have skincare questions? I'll do my best. Um, or do you have website questions? Um, let me know. No questions yet. <laughs> all right, no questions yet. Oh, there it is. Yay, okay. Um, yay, it looks like some people are really excited about AutoShip and the filters. Um, I'm so glad. Uh, it's been really uh, fun and a lot of work and a big adventure to get all of this um, ironed out and ready for you guys. But um, I hope that you're as excited as we are. Um, oh, let's <laughs> see. Uh, looks like Gina popped in. She must not have left for her trip yet. Uh, she says, great job, thank you. Uh, show us how to find an oil that is acne safe. I don't do that. Okay, Ben's gonna get my screen back here. Oops, pull up the, uh, the internet thing. Whoop. <laughs> Sorry guys, bear with me here. Uh, it's not, uh... oh, down here. Yeah, I gotcha. Here we are. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, okay, so we want to find an oil that is acne safe. So since we're already in moisturizers, let's go to consistency. And we're going to choose oil. I'm going to go to preferences, and I'm going to choose acne safe. Boom! Holistic balance. I think we might be missing a few, actually. I think we might have... I think we might have a few more in there. So I'm gonna put this as a note to, uh, to double check because I think that we do have more acne safe oils than this. Um, but that is how you will find it. Yeah. Cool, cool. How to find an eye cream for puffy eyes. Gina's on the road watching in her car. <laughs> Oh, well, thanks for, for joining us in here. Okay, eye cream for puffy eyes. Let's go to skincare and eye care. And we're gonna go straight to eye care concern. And we're gonna go to puffiness. Boop. Perfect, and so right off the bat, it's gonna give us quite a few options. Um, again, from here, you could, um, well, I do actually, let's talk about low scent and what low scent means. So low scent to us um, doesn't mean no artificial fragrance. Um, almost everything on our website has uh, minimal artificial fragrances and the few that do are ones that are um, actually made for super sensitive skin. All of them are phthalate free. So this doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna come smelling very strong because uh, it has natural or essential oils in it. We actually opened everything, we sniffed everything, and we used our best judgment to get things that actually smell as low scent as possible. So, you know, something might have no fragrance, but it has a lot of lavender oil, and so it smells really strong. That's not gonna be in low scent. Um, so I just kinda wanted to clear that up, that um, by low scent, we really were trying to go for those people who really um, don't like to have a lot of scent on their skin. Uh, I know that that is a requirement for, for a lot of people. So, um, especially around the eyes, it can be nice to have something that is low scent. So right off the bat, um, that, I can hit that filter and, and start um, skimming. I can also s decide I want, um, I have got a little crow's feet. So let's find something that helps puffiness and crow's feet. Here we go. And let's say I also am a little dry. Let's throw that in there too. It's gonna keep on filtering it down for me. And I want something that's brightening. 
everything. So that is how many left that, that have some ingredients in them that will be treating all of those eye concerns. <laughs> Joseph says, finally, yes. <laughs> Gina says, yes, we have five more acne safe oils. Yes, um, I know for sure some of those are in Botany and it's a brand new line. So we're, we're still kind of getting those in. Um, Jake was working really hard in the background today and he loaded up some products and got them ready for me just for this live. Uh, so they, the fine tuning will happen um, before, before we get launched. Uh, and as you guys are using it, you might find stuff. You guys know our products really well at this point. You might find something and say, hey, what's up with that? If you do, let us know, reach out in live chat. Um, we will definitely help to fix with this. Uh, yes, uh, Sue, I suffer with maturation or rest acne. Is there a way to search all products regardless of type that will help with this issue? Absolutely. I'll get you back there. Okay. Ben's gonna fix here. Okay, so we are going to go, let's just go to shop all. So earlier, um, if you've come in later, I did say that I find that the easiest way to use a filtration and to shop the site is to go by product type first. Um, I find that that, it just makes it flow a little bit better and you'll see, but you can absolutely do shop all. And when you click shop all, because there's so many different types of products, you just get a lot of filtration options. And that's why I like to go to uh, my item um, first, but you can shop this way. Absolutely. You would hit concern. You would choose, um, uh, oh, this is the wrong one. Sorry. Um, acne type, maturation arrest. And this is gonna be all of the products that we sell that offer some benefit for uh, maturation arrest. You could go in here now too, and you could say, um, you know, I definitely want something with antioxidants, or you could say, I'm allergic to aloe vera. I have a really bad reaction to that. I want everything with aloe vera out. Um, so it's gonna filter that right out for you. So that is a cool thing. There's more results. You can keep loading as you go, um, or you can keep refining. So yeah, that is how you would look at the entire website uh, based on that. You could also um, go to product type from here. So now that I know I have no aloe vera and I know it's good for maturation and rest, I could go to product type and start to kind of click through these. Like, okay, well now I want to see toners and mists. Uh, oh, which it's gonna get a little buggy on me again. I think. Acne treatments. Bath and body. Well, the bath and body's working. Okay, that's good. Cleansers and scrubs. All of our cleansers and scrubs. I can go toners and mists. Oh, these are toners. I was just, I saw this little bottle and I was thinking serum. Sorry, it did work. It's not a bug. <laughs> so these are toners uh, that are have benefit for maturation or rest. Um, so that's that's how you could. Uh, filter your way through um, the full full catalog shop all all at once all right all right so it looks like we got all of the questions um, one thing to keep in mind um, you will get some emails that come out as we're launching the new website that will um, kind of clue you into the changes. The biggest thing that you'll have to do is change your password. So for um, uh, security reasons, we don't have your, your password, so that's not getting migrated over. Your account, your order history, your points, all of that will still transfer over to the new website, but the first time you access it, you'll have to, um, to reset your password. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, do we, are we offering Afterpay, says Laura Kleiner? We do have um, a firm. That's the one that we are using now. Um, there will be a, um, no payment details. Thank you, Joseph, will not be on your account. You will have to re-add payment methods. Um, that won't be there anymore. Uh, we are gonna have like maybe a month where we don't have PayPal. I know a lot of people use PayPal. It will be back in a month. We're only gonna be without it for a month. Um, there was kind of some 
integration issues with that. Um, so it, it is coming. The, if you get on there next week and say, where's PayPal? It's, it will come back. It's just not going to be there for the first month. Um, so let's see, Joseph wanted to see the automated order process. Mm -hmm. So I had added some stuff in here earlier. So I'll take you to the cart. Um, these are, this is an item I'm purchasing one time, one time only. I'll never be billed again unless I come back and buy it again. This one I put on auto ship and I selected the amount of time. Um, and the same with this one. So these two will ship together in the same shipment because I put them on the same interval. If I put them at different intervals, they would ship separately. And so if these items, these are over $99, but if these items were under 59, um, then the reshipment would charge shipping because that reshipment um, would be going by itself with a total of under um, the minimum threshold. So that's something to keep in mind if you're setting things at different intervals and you wanna get free shipping. Um, and I can show you an auto ship that I already have in here. This is um, your account, you'll have your account. Um, actually, I don't think I have any in here, but this is where you will be able to find your consultation forms. Um, there's this console guy right here. I don't have any out, but if you purchased a customized protocol, there would be a little guy right here to access your customized protocol form. Um, if you're in the ACME program, you'll have the, the ACME form in there. Um, makes it really handy. You don't have to worry about losing your email anymore. Uh, and so I want to go into auto ships. So this is one that I have already checked out with. It's um, on pause right now because I don't have a payment method connected to it. But here you can pause right now. It's already paused, but I could hit resume. Um, so if it was already going, you could hit pause here and just pause your order um, until you're ready to unpause it. Um, you can edit the order here, and we discovered that this is a, there's a bug going on here. <laughs> it's the search feature is not working. Um, so, sorry about that. But we are getting those bugs worked out before we launch. Um, because this auto ship is under the $59 mark, it's going to be charged shipping. Um, I can edit the addresses that I have going to it. I can add a payment method, I could change my pay payment method, and I can cancel it right here. Um, also, if you have something on auto ship and you don't want to fuss with this, you can either call or chat or email into customer service and they can modify this for you. They can add or remove items. Um, they can change your uh, frequency. They can cancel it, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and we'll have an email that will go out, I think, three days before um, it ships to remind you that it's coming. And if you need to make changes, you can get in there and, and get it done before it actually ships. Okay. Um, yeah, so when the new website launches, um, an email will come out letting you know what steps to go through. Um, I believe that it will just have the link to the website or to the login page. So that email will send you the login page. You'll put in your email um, and go through the, basically it's the forgot your password um, uh, process. And then that will enable you to reset a new password and then you'll be in and you'll be able to see all of your historical orders and everything. Yes, and Gina was also saying the shipping threshold for auto ship is 59, which um, is really helpful. I know that we have um, some people who buy uh, their products on, on repeat, and this will enable them to take advantage of a little lower free shipping threshold. Really exciting. All right. Well, I think we got all of the questions. And, oh, look at that, 11.59. We did pretty good. All right. Um, so if you guys have anything more to share um, if you want to pop in and ask questions you can pop into to customer service um, if they don't know the answer yet because they're still learning with the rest of us they'll pull me in and I can um, answer your questions the best I can, you can comment on the video too. and you can comment on this video yes and we will um, continue to answer questions here and to to chat up the new site uh, so we're super super excited I can't wait to hear all of your feedback about it once it goes live um, and like I said, if you notice funny little things, let us know. Uh, oh, Valentina says she thought Gina got a haircut. <laughs> uh, nope. Uh, but 
thank you, Valentina. Um, I take it as a compliment every time someone thinks that I am Gina. <laughs> All right, well, you guys have a wonderful Tuesday and a great week, and um, I will see you in live chat, I'm sure. <laughs>